Okay. I'd like to welcome everybody who is in the room tonight. Today, this uh, if you are here and you're a guest, you're welcome. But today's conversation is for brand ambassadors. For those who are already in and want to be able to leverage the Green Monday system, the Helping Life system, mind you, to great advantage. If you want to enjoy leverage, if you want to earn phenomenal income, if you want to move and you know use only 10% of your efforts to create 100% of value, then this is the right class for you. If you are here, you want to do less than 10% of the work and earn over 100% of the reward, this is the class for you. If you want to be chilling where others are struggling, this is the class for you. If you want to know how to be well positioned so that you enjoy spillovers, you enjoy spill unders, this is the class for you. If you want to know how to get to level four, ahead of all the people who you seem to be in the same boat with right now, this is the class for you. If you are here today and you are convinced based on the things I've said today that this is the class for you, please help me in that chat box, type one, one, one. Okay, type as many ones as you feel this is the class for you. Now, if this is the class for you, you want to enjoy the leverage. I can see Mommy show with many ones. Joshua Deleke is even spoiling the ones. Uh, if this is the class for you based on these things, I would like you to pay attention and listen tight. And I'd like you to take this video. I'm going to download it and upload it as well. Watch it as many times as you can so that you can solidify this learning in your mind. The people who know what to do will always be ahead of those who are guessing. The people who know what to do will always be ahead of those who don't know what to do. You know, somebody, one of my friends usually quotes, you know, it's a very popular quote, from one of my friends when I was in university, he used to say things like, if you don't know how your friends are standing tall, you may spend the rest of your life standing on your tiptoes. And you may ache your toes and end up with arthritis because you don't know that your friends are wearing high heels. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a method to this madness. There is a way to leverage the system and achieve phenomenal results. And the only difference between two people is those who know and those who don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, LUCK, LUCK, L-U-C-K, is often translated by some as laboring under correct knowledge. Laboring under correct knowledge. That when you're laboring under correct knowledge, your labor doesn't look like labor because it gives you results. It looks like favor. But when you are laboring under incorrect knowledge, it looks like you are really struggling hard to make things happen. What I want to show you tonight is how to achieve leverage with your Healthy Life's loyalty system and ensure that you're always positioned, always positioned and very well positioned where it matters most. And if you overtake your upline, <laughs> you even have a lot more possibilities for you now. Don't say I told you this, but there's opportunity available to everyone on the Helping Life system. So if you're here today and you're listening to me, please pay attention because what you're about to learn is the little extra sauce that makes this soup very sweet. Okay? Somebody says leverage using correct knowledge. Okay, good. So it's no longer labor. It's actually leverage using correct knowledge. So if you have the correct knowledge, instead of labor, you enjoy leverage. Awesome. So as a gentleman, I'd like to dig into this. And because you are in class today, you have a privilege that everybody who will watch this will benefit from. That privilege is you have the privilege of asking questions. Remember, the secret of success is not listening in class. The secret of success is not watching and paying attention. The secret of success is asking the right questions. The people who ask the right questions get favorable answers that opens to them the available correct knowledge. So today, I'd like us to dive, dive, dive in to our members area and have a pleasant time watching together. I hope you can see my screen. Okay, I hope you can see my screen. If you can see my screen, type in that chat box, yes. Type in that chat box, Yes, so that I know you can see the screen and then we can progress from here. Okay, I can see a few yeses already of people that can see my screen. Now, I'd like you to pay attention to this. I'm going to be using 
particular people as examples. I'm going to use people here as examples as well. So if you're here and you would like to be my example at a particular point, I will ask you for your username and then we can use you as an example. So today, very quickly, I'm going to be using a username called Dynamo. Okay, I'm going to be using Dynamo as my example. Now look at this Dynamo table. This is the back office, the loyalty system, call it matrix level one. Okay. Uh, you can also call it loyalty level one at the back office of Dynamo. Dynamo is in level one, okay? Dynamo is in level one as, and has only one entry to go. When Dynamo receives this entry, what will happen to Dynamo? Dynamo will move to level two, okay? Now, if you're on this board, we have in level one, Dynamo, Dynamo star one and Dynamo star two. Are we together? We have Dynamo, Dynamo star two, and Dynamo star, star one and star two. I want to show you something. I want to close all these other pages and open them one by one so that we can navigate together. Now, how many people does Dynamo need to enter level two? Please answer me. I'd like us to do this interactive. How many people does Dynamo need to get to the next level? Okay. Once I have three answers, I move on. How many? One. Thank you very much, Felicia. One is required. Now, how do I get to know this one that is needed, okay? If I want to get to know this one that is needed, I found Dynamo, I'm not Dynamo, so I can't log into Dynamo system. So I was able to log into my own system and search for Dynamo under this called team matrices. So that team matrices, I saw that Dynamo is in feeder level one. If I want to find out who is coming into Dynamo's table, I will go to the feeder and look for Dynamo in the feeder. Now, if I go to the feeder and I look for Dynamo, I will see Dynamo 3 and Dynamo 4 and Dynamo 5, which are the next available entries of Dynamo that are planning to come into that space. So what do I do here? I come to completed matrix and I select the first completed matrix. So I look for number, sorry, this is number two. I look for the first completed matrix. The first completed matrix shows me this structure. This is the structure of the matrix that Dynamo had in the beginning, okay? Um, am I looking at matrix one or matrix two? Okay, I'm looking at matrix matrix one. So on this particular matrix, it shows me that the key down lines of Dynamo are green, green, care hub, hair play, Adex BAM, and royalty 72. So I go back to my Dynamo table and I look at who is here and I can see royal 72. I can see green hub. I can see Adex BAM. I can not see hair play. So I can guess that the person that is missing here is AirPlay. AirPlay is the one that is coming here that I cannot find. How will I find AirPlay? I'll find AirPlay by going back into the feeder to look for where AirPlay is on the feeder and clicking on AirPlay so that I can know how much more AirPlay needs, okay? So AirPlay is supposed to come here. I go back to the feeder. And in this feeder, I can see this is AirPlay. So I click on AirPlay. Of course, AirPlay will tell me if I click next level, it will show me where AirPlay is going to in its next level. But what I want to see now is I want to see AirPlay, where AirPlay is. And I can see that AirPlay is still in the feeder. And AirPlay has 16 positions under it. Once these 16 positions are filled, which are really four down lines each of Ewurich, Olua Bumi, Tebi Olua, and Sheyun. Once AirPlay fills these positions, that person will enter into the team of Dynamo and Dynamo will pop into level two. So if Dynamo was popping to level two, Dynamo is looking at all its downlines and seeing who is coming next, who is active, who do I need to call, who do I need to ginger, who do I need to help to make things happen. But as I if you look at this board, you may assume that only Dynamo is almost complete, that people like Royal 72, Green Hub, and Adex Bam are far from complete. How do I know what is happening in their teams? I simply come here and click on Royal 72, and when I click on Royal 72, I can see here that Royal 72 has three more slots to finish. And if it finishes before Dynamo finishes, Royal 72 is going to pop into level two ahead of Dynamo. So Royal 72, if she's looking at her team and look at the upline team, is realizing I may be able to enjoy the upline of Dynamo more if I move quickly. So what Dynamo wants to do is move quickly so that she can quickly exit this place. So from here, 
we can see an idea of how complete the team is. I can close that. I can check Green Hub. Green Hub already also has one person on their system. They have about five to go. Now, something very interesting is happening here on the Green Hub team. Green Hub has star one and star two, but somehow Ritzcope has managed to overtake Green Hub star one and star two to take a position on the left of Green Hub. Yes, overtaking is allowed. Overtaking is allowed, and I'll show you in ways overtaking is allowed. Overtaking is allowed of your upline. Overtaking is also allowed of your contemporaries, and I'll show you how that works. So look at Green Hub. Let's go back again and pay attention to this. Green Hub, like Royal 70, like um, Dynamo, should have Dynamo star one, star two. Now, one of the downlines of Green Hub has moved into level one before Green Hub star one, star two. What does this mean? It means that by the time star one and star two begin to come, star one will fill the vacant on the right, and star two will come and fill a position on that risk scope. It means the down lines of Green Hub will now begin to find themselves in the team of risk scope, and risk scope will now enjoy amazing leverage. Now, this leverage is what this business is about. How do you get yourself to enjoy and maximize leverage? There are two things you need to understand. You need to understand that this matrix favors you from top to bottom, AKA top to bottom. Favors you from top to bottom, and it favors you from left to right. So please somebody every time in that chat box, top to bottom and left to right. Now, what does this mean? I'll show you something very interesting. It means you want to ensure that you are moving quickly to get to the top as quickly as you can, and you want to be at the left as much as you can. Top to bottom, left to right. Top to bottom, left to right. Now, she's only very interesting. At the inception of this tree, look at this tree. When Dynamo started building the team, the first person that was placed on the system under Dynamo, the first person that was positioned by Dynamo was Green Hub. After, Dyna, after Green Hub was Airplay. After Airplay was Adex Bam. After Adex Bam was Royal 72. If you look at if you look at Dynamo today, Royal 72 has come first. What does that mean? It means she has taken the first position on the left. Remember, it favors you from top to bottom and from left to right. So anybody who places himself at the left is gaining an advantage over the people at the right. And it doesn't matter how you start. What matters is how you position yourself. It means if you're in the feeder, what you want to do as quickly as possible is get out and be under your upline. The downline that has the strongest leverage is the downline on the left. Once left is taken, don't wait. Once left is taken, take the next left. Once left is taken, take the next one. And if that is taken, take the next one. And when you take the rightmost position, what you are gunning for is no longer that level, is how to take the left position on the next level. How to take the left position on the next level. Because the leverage on the left level will favor you because you will enjoy leverage. It means anybody who is supposed to come under your upline will begin to look for you once you are the first person on the left. And if you can do higher as well, and I'm going to show you what higher looks like. So if we look at this team, for example, we look at the team of Green Hub and Riscope. We go back again to the foundations. I come here and I click on Green Hub to see what Green Hub structure is like when she started. If I look at Green Hub structure, okay, this is Green Hub at the point of start. Now, with this particular structure, I can see that Green Hub star one is not complete. Green Hub star three is the one that was completed first. And that's why Green Hub star one went ahead first. So Green Hub star three went first. That's why it's rearranged. So the first one that finishes becomes Green Hub. Now, the first one that finishes here was star two, which now became Green Hub. Now, guess what? Because this one has finished, uh, star one and star two have not finished. Now, if you look at the team, the way the team was, under Green Hub, we had her Royal Fitness, we had King's Heritage, we had Lady Moore, and we had Risco. Now, in level one, was Green Hub Pops, the first two positions that should be under Green Hub should be Green Hub star one and star two. But because they are not in, Riscope has been driving and driving, I guess. 
Riscope has managed to lock the first position, you know, to lock the first position. Let me see Riscope again. Riscope has locked the first position under Green Hub. What does that mean? It means all the downlines and Green Hub has six downlines, six. Star one, star two are the downlines of Green Hub. And there are four other downlines, King's Heritage, uh, Royal Fitness, uh, Lady Moore. These are other downlines, okay? She has six downlines with Riscope. The remaining five now have an opportunity to come under Riscope. Now, if I were Riscope, what I will be doing is I'll be trying to ensure as quickly as possible that I get my star one and star two there as well so that I possibly can move into the next level uh, ahead of Green Hub or as Green Hub begins to quickly fill her team, I enjoy the leverage of a few of Green Hub's team members so if anybody jumps the level now, the person will come to the next become coach on the right. And then guess what? The next people will become a Larry Scope. It means you can't afford to really sleep on this. You can't afford to just be watching and saying, I will get there when I'll get there. No. Where you get there is important because somebody told me, I am not enjoying any leverage. I'm not enjoying any speed of my upline. The reason why you're not enjoying any leverage is because you're on the right side. Okay? Uh, you want to move to the left side. And in the level you currently are, you cannot move there anymore, okay? Where you want to move to, okay, is the level that is in the next level. So wherever you are in your current reality, you want to quickly move to the next level. How will you know where you're positioned? By interacting regularly with your upline to find out where things, or by pushing as quickly as you can because success loves speed. So if you look at the way this is here, there are, there are a number of options for coming into this space, okay? And one of them, one of them is Airplay, and the other ones are all of Airplay's downlines. If any of Airplay's downlines jumps in, they will come here, okay? They will come here. Now, at this level, it's important for you to have more than one downline, more than four downlines. Because if you have four downlines, it means only four people, apart from your star one and star two, making six are looking for you part-time. Now, once we have left the level of pre-launch and we have moved into this level of soft launch, you want to have as many downlines as possible because they give you leverage everywhere you're going. And if they can allow you to move and push you fast, it begins to enjoy leverage from your upline as well. Remember, value positions are top to bottom, left to right. Now, without much ado, I would like to use somebody as an example. So if you're here today, I want to analyze your board as an example. So what I'd like you for me to do for me is give me your username. Okay, anybody who wants to, you're in level one or thereabouts, Abe. Okay, Abe, Abe is quite fast in doing this. So I'm going to search for Abe. And in searching for Abe, I can see, according to what I have here, Abe is in the feeder and level one. So I'm going to click on level one to look for Abe in level one. And in level one, I can see Abe, Abe star one, Abe star two. It means Abe is playing it correctly. She's there in three positions. She's rock solid. If I want to know who is coming into Abe's team, who are the people that are coming into Abe, I can check two places. One, I can check Abe's team. So I can come here and check Abe's team just to see how many direct downlines she has. Okay. Uh, direct downlines, Abe has, Abe has about five, uh, sorry, Abe, sorry, I'm not looking for Abe's downlines. These are not Abe's downlines. Uh, Abe is, because I'm not, I'm not Abe, I'm not in Abe's team, I'm on Pioneer's team, I can't see Abe's downlines. So I can come here, if I log in, I come to my teams and I click on active members for Abe, and it will see active members. But what I can do here is, I can go to Abe's feeder and check who are the people that are in the feeder for Abe. If I come to Abe's feeder, I can see star three, star four, star five, Abe is already building a second, uh, she's building a second uh, feeder. Uh, this is beautiful. So I can come here to completed matrix and select and find our first completed matrix. And our first completed matrix is showing me that, you know, the first completed matrix was, wow, okay, was Abby. Abby was the one that finished first. Uh, let me, and then under Abby, we have Abby London and Love Symbol. So Abby London and Love Symbol are one. I can go to the second matrix. On second matrix, I see, okay, this is the matrix that has everything. So this is the matrix I'm really looking for. This one has Abbey 1, Abbey 2, Abbey 3. Another Abbey 1, Abbey 2, Abbey 3, I have Abbey London, I have Love Symbol, 
I have Cam, Cam JV David 2010. I have Ngozi. Now, these are the four people ideally that should be looking for uh, Abbey. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look for Abbey London and try and see what exactly is happening with Abbey London. So I click here under Abbey London and I realize that Abbey London is almost full. Abbey London has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Abbey London has 12 positions free under her. What am I going to do if I was Abbey? And what am I going to do if I was Abbey London? If I am Abbey London, I will quickly talk to e Ialo. I'll talk to Ialo. I'll talk to Vicky. I'll talk to Deborah. And I'll talk to all my key guys and say to them, I'll please, I'm pleading with you, fill your four. Get your four in ASAP. Because if Abbey London gets in a hurry to move, Abbey London is going to put her own down lines under you meaning you will enjoy leverage, but because it's Abbey London's downlines under you, when you get to your future levels, they will not be looking for you. They will be looking for Abbey London or they'll be looking for Abbey. So if I was Abbey, what I'll be doing is I will buy as many bottles as I need. I can use the multiple bottle plan, get them in. It means these are people that I will sign up and change the names for later on, but I will put these people into the system, and what are the benefits are going to give me? They are going to be Abbey's downlines. So even though they are helping Abbey London move to level one, they are Abbey's downlines. It means anywhere they are going in the future, Abbey is who they are looking for. Either they can find Abbey one, Abbey two, Abbey three, or they will follow Abbey four, Abbey five, Abbey six. Whatever Abbey they find is the Abbey they will support. So as somebody who wants to grow my team, I quickly put the virtues that I need under these people. If they don't hurry up and do it themselves, I will create a little bit of a liability for them because now they've moved into the next level or they can't move to the next level. They need to feel under them as well and I will enjoy that leverage. So in this game, the person who pays ahead is actually winning because you are positioning yourself and structuring yourself to win the big game. It's like playing checkers, you know, or playing these games where you are blocking spaces, you are blocking spaces and the person that wins is the person that blocks the most space. So as, as Abe, I want to come into Abbey London's page, see what is remaining, block it, okay? Uh, with accounts that I can sell to people later on or with bottles I can sell later on, I block it, okay? I come on that, I see Abbey London, I see Love Symbol. I come on that Love Symbol, I see Love Symbol has only seven, seven to go. I tell Love Symbol, talk to your people. I'm giving you 24 hours to take position on yourself. Otherwise, I will block those positions with myself and you will need to block the positions on me in the future if you want to live where you are. But I want to get my own people into level one. So I'm giving you 24 hours, talk to your people, otherwise we move. So on a love symbol, there's just seven to go. I'm calculating it. And then again, I come under, uh, under K, Kamiye, Kamiye David. I come under Kamiye David, and I say under Kamiye David, there's 16 positions to go. It means Kamiye David and Kamiye David's down lines, Bampers, Alubarka, Hazy Kitchen are all dozing. They are sleeping and snoring. So I tell Kami David, you have 24 hours. Get your four team soldiers to get their four. Otherwise, they will see me in their team. Okay. And at that point, you know, uh, you'll be the ones that will need to call me because I am going to be holding you at, you know, I'm going to be holding you by the jugular, more or less, because you will now need me to also move forward. Okay. But by then, I will have gotten my people in level two. Uh, level one, I'll have moved to level two. And all I'll be focusing on at that time is how to get my people out of level two, no longer the feeder. You'll be thinking about how to get to level one, level two. You're going to need me as well, or whatever it is that I put there, who will be looking for me ultimately. Then I come back here again, and I look for the last person there, Ngozi. I say, Ngozi, what are you doing? I click on Ngozi, and it shows me that Ngozi is moving. Some of the people are doing stuff, but they actually have 13 positions to go. Now, if I wanted to do this myself, it means 13 plus 12, okay? 13 plus 12 plus 16, that gives you 29. 29 plus, uh, plus 8, that gives me uh, 37. And 37 plus, uh, plus 8, sorry, plus 12, it gives me 49. 
It means 49 bottles is what needs to happen in my team for me to get to the next level. Now, for me to get to the next level, I need that to happen in my team. I can do it by two ways. One, leadership. Leadership is telling my people what they need so that they can join me where I am and tell them to work at it because it pays them to work at it. If I have to work at it myself, I will have spent, gotten bottles that I would need to sell and get it sold because people need the bottles around me. So I'll give myself a motivation to have bottles to sell. And then number two, if I do it myself, I will have also positioned myself under them, my downlines, not myself. I'll have positioned my downlines under them such that they will now need me to talk to my downlines when they want to make their own lips. So everybody gets tied that way. The best thing is before you get your feeder modeled up, you take position, you take action, you move things, okay? Because guess what? Whenever I need anybody in level one in the future, all I need to do is look for somebody in my feeder who is under me and help them grow, support them grow, either with leadership, with ginger, or with some form of support, go for their events, all that as well. So Abe can live to level two in the next 48 hours by making strategic calls or by deciding how many bottles is 49 bottles, okay? 49 bottles is less than, it's just three cartons and one, three cartons and one. How long will it take me to finish that, okay? How long will it take me to push that? Okay, I push that out, I get out of that level, I move to level two, I work on my teams to join me in level one. The best way to enjoy level two is, is direct one-on-one. -on -one. And guess what? What is Abe targeting? Abe is targeting how can I quickly ensure that I'm in a leading position with my own upline. So my upline, if I click here on next level, if it was on that team, it should show me where am I going, okay? So it should show me where is the next level I'm going. And Abe, if Abe goes quickly, Abe is coming here on that coach MI. So Abe realizes the position of coach MI, okay, there's an available space for me here. I can get closer to coach MI, okay? And if I get closer to coach MI, guess what? I can enjoy benefits of coach MI. If coach MI moves to the three, then I'm getting closer as well. I can one day be the closest person to Coach MI on that page and enjoy the benefits that I can get from there. Okay. So I want to quickly move up because I see where I'm going and I like where I'm going. So I want to do everything quickly to move the leverage of the 49 bottles I'm having to spend now that I can make back by substituting with real people later on gives me an opportunity. Okay. Really, really gives me an opportunity uh, to ensure that I'm positioned exactly where I want to be. Okay, is this clear? If you are here, you are following the gist, it's clear to you. Give me a yes in that chat box. Say yes, it's clear. Okay, let me know that you're following. If it's not clear, you're not seeing what to do, you know, just write down in that chat box. Wait. Okay, yes, it's clear. Okay, awesome, awesome. So I'm going to come back here again and show you something. So uh, the next username there was Bumai. So I can see here Bumai search. Bumai is in feeder at level one. So I come to level one and I look at Bumai and Bumai has just two to go and she will be in level two. Okay, she has two to go to be in level two. So I come back here to the feed to where I search for her. Uh, let me close all the windows for the one I did for the person I just uh, did now. And let me focus on, good, this is Bumai. Um, I come here and I say, where is Bumai in the feeder? So I look at Bumai's feeder. I see that she has star three, star four, star five. I go to the matches that are completed. I want to look at the matches that has Bumai one, two, three. Okay. Um, I hope my internet allows me. So let's say I come to matrix two. Okay. So this matrix two has Bumai one, two, three. Good. So I look under the team and I see Sweet Baby. I see Shegun HD. I see Ed Mistress. And I see Ench Enshaw. Okay, I see Enshaw. So what do I do? I come back to this place. I can see here, Sweet Baby and Headmistress are here. The two people I'm missing are, I'm missing Shegun HD and Enshaw. I can see that Sweet Baby has kept her first position. Headmistress has overtaken Shegun HD and Enshaw has the opportunity of overtaking Shegun HD as well if he comes on board on time. So what do I want to check? I want to check what's happening with Shegun HD. Shego HD has just nine positions to go. Okay, nine positions to go. Shego HD. I come back here and I check what does Ensure have? Ensure here 
has uh, 14 positions to go. So I talked to HQ and Ensure and tell them, look, one of you can overtake the other depending on how quickly you fill this. And if you waste time, I will come there and I will fill the positions. So I'm giving you 24 hours where I will do nothing. In 24 hours, I will leave you two to compete and see who will fill their spaces. Talk to Lizzie 005, talk to TPs, talk to Adekunle Dikweolu, talk to your guys to get in their four. Tell them you are giving them 24 hours because that's all you have as well. You have the prerogative around 24 hours to fill those positions yourself and technically hold your downlines to your ransom or I will hold you and your downlines to my own ransom. Okay, so you have the opportunity now, take it 24 hours. By tomorrow, whatever happens, I am taking over. Okay, and they hear that, they rush to do what they can do. They try to block off some places as much as they can. Shegu HD does the miracle, moves in first, bam. And then the next one comes in next, bam, Bumai goes to the next level. And then Bumai now is talking to them to say, your star two and your star three, needs to be there together with you. Do not let your downlines overtake you because once you get to level one, that's where it really starts. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that's clear enough to you. Uh, that's how this works. So that Bumai has two to go. There's no reason why she should be in level two by Wednesday. Okay? And give you the Wednesday being level two. Because when you're in level two as well, Bumai can check where am I going? And where am I going? Yuma Victor has D-Baby already. Yuma Victor has three more positions, okay? All you need to do is make sure you're in the second position because remember, it's top to bottom, left to right. You want to position yourself under the third one, left to right, because you need to move. Yuma Victor wants to get to level three before the retreat. You also want to get to level three before the retreat, okay? So you want to go and push, push, push. Push to be there so that it can happen, okay? I hope that is clear, okay? If it's clear, please give me a yes in the chat box while we look at the next person, Yalwati, and then we'll call it a night tonight. Okay, the next name I got there was Yalwati. Okay, Yalwati is in level feeder. She's not yet in level one. Okay, I like this as well. So I go to the feeder to look for Yalwati, and I see that Yalwati has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bottles to go. Ten bottles to go. Now, Yalwati has... MZ Umar as Nawawi as Ab Brooks and as Amama. Okay. Um, Uzama already has three downlines. Tell him to get his fourth. Okay. He will be he get, get his fourth and tell him to get his downlines to get their downlines because he can be the first person that joins you in level one as well. You go to Nawal and say, Nawal, I can't see what you're doing. If I take the position under you, and put new people there, you will be at their mercy, okay? And because they are my downlines, you will be at my mercy. I'm giving you 24 hours, Naval, Brooks, Amana, fill your positions with real people that you know and that you like, okay? So that you know what you are doing, so that you can very well be positioned otherwise. All I need to do here is 10 bottles, 10 bottles I can do, I can get, you know, I can get uh, a 16 by one. I can get, you know, those positions, sell them out to people and change usernames later. And guess what? I will be out. And then I'll have four of you looking for me with my two accounts looking for me. And I'll have 10 new people looking for me as well because I have people that I can sell the bottles to and they will be in my team that way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how we need to be conversing with our team members. Nobody is helping anybody spectacularly. It's all a game of leverage. It's all a game of excitement and fun. You know, if I do a lot and I position myself and I move myself to level two, level three, I have my downlines who will need me before they can move. And I have many people looking for me on the higher matrices. So even though my power of four is no longer operating with power of four, I now have power of 20 I can pick four from. And if we move Paris Pasu like that, we all enjoy phenomenal leverage. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how to do it. This is how we do it. Uh, and where is Yawati going? Yawati can check and see where am I going so that I know what I'm doing. And Yawati realizes where I'm going is a place where Taiwo Yoma is. I can be the first person up, up there, you know, top to bottom, left to right. I can be the first person up there 
so that Tawoyoma's down lines are now at my mercy. The quicker I move, the better. Tawoyoma's star one and star two are not there yet. It's my opportunity to run. Yawati, do you get what you need to do? You need to do what you need to do quickly. You need to run. Okay? You need to do what you want to do quickly and run. Um, okay, I think I've searched for all the accounts that have given me their usernames that wanted to be samples. Okay, and I think that's good. I know some other people will give me theirs now. We'll use you for the next class. So uh, in this class, it was about you know showing us how it works, showing us you need to position at the top or you need to be at the left. You need to do where, whatever level you are, you need to move quickly so they can enjoy your uplines leverage. Uh, speed unders and speed overs are possible in places where you're able to move in quickly ahead like that. Begin to enjoy downlines are not yours. Uh, I can show you an account now. Somebody has overtaken all their contemporaries into level three, that person will be enjoying their contemporaries as their downlines. So ultimately, when they come on board, they'll be coming under somebody who is on their upline because the person moved fast. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a game of speed. And if you can move fast and make this happen, it can be exciting. And let me tell you this. If your upline has star one, star two, star three in level three, and they had it there because of you, they can give you one of the slots to join them at the mini retreats. It's not over until the fat woman sings. It's not over till it's over. So this is just gentlemen, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, I hope with these viewers of mine, I've been able to show you clearly how you can enjoy leverage and how you can strategize to ensure that in this helping lives loyalty matrix, way before people understand what they're doing, you can push yourself and you can move out, move quick. You need to be asking yourself, where am I in my upline team? Where have I positioned? What have I done? You know, how am I taking advantage of my upline team? Okay, I have a few hands up. Somebody wants to ask a question. Please, if you want to ask a question, you can raise up your hand. I will take two questions and then we'll call it a night. Anybody wants to ask a question tonight? If you have a question, you want to raise your hand to ask a question, I'll give you the volume to speak and then we'll call it a night. Anybody? I saw somebody raise up their hand very quickly and brought it down. Um, okay, so I see we get it. Okay, it's my pleasure sharing with you. Please check where you are in the feeder. Don't be in the feeder for long. Be on your upline's right, left hand. You know, before they start one and start two, move, move, overtake. Overtaking is allowed. Okay. And when you overtake, you enjoy leverage. That's what you enjoy. So somebody says, I'm not, I'm not seeing the automatic people that are coming under me. It's because you're not moving quickly enough. Okay. Success, love speed. Do not let, do not let flies eat your tire. Run, run, baby, run. Thank you very much, everyone. It's my pleasure sharing with you tonight. Have a blessed evening.